What's up guys, Carly here, and today I got a super rad tutorial for you. I'm gonna teach you how to master jumping rope even if you're not coordinated, okay? Regardless if you're jumping rope or not, the key to learning coordination is through jumping rope. And I got some of the best drills that's gonna teach you to connect that whole mind-body-foot connection, all right? So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel right now. Get ready to jump. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me on this quick tutorial on how to improve your coordination, jumping rope, all right? So this video is gonna be for anyone that feels like they can't jump rope because they aren't coordinated. Let me tell you, if that is the case, jumping rope is one of the top exercises you can do to help improve any mind, body, eye, foot connection, all right? It's your answer. So we're gonna get started right now with some quick tips, all right? We're actually gonna set down our jump rope and we are gonna focus on shadow jumping, all right? Shadow jumping is doing the movements without actually jumping over the rope. This is something I start off in almost all my classes, especially if you're brand new or if you're trying to learn any new tricks, okay? It's really important to get down the movement and feel for what we're doing first before we add in the rope, okay? A lot of times, a lot of us are scared of actually tripping over the rope or worried about what other people think of us. So doing it without the rope just automatically puts a lot less stress on our mind and we're able to really be able to connect that mind-body experience, okay? So we are gonna shadow jump. We're gonna be in proper jump rope form. We're gonna be jumping on the balls of our feet, no more than two inches off the ground. Our knees are gonna be slightly bent, elbows are gonna be slightly bent, and it's just small circles with our wrists, okay? It's not, it's not shoulder circles, it's not elbow circles, it's wrist circles, okay? So we are just gonna get in a light jumping motion right here, just a basic bounce, okay? We're just gonna jump one, two, three, four, five. I find that when I count out loud, it really helps me connect that rhythm to my brain and everything starts working a lot better, okay? So either count in your head or count out loud, whatever is better for you, just start playing with it, all right? Just start counting and jumping, all right? And envision the rope going over your head and under your feet, okay? So for every little flick in the wrist, it goes under, okay? You need to start off slow, start off slow, speed it up. This is actually gonna be part of our training, going slow at first, then speeding the rope back up, all right? It's all about that hand-body-eye connection, all right? So after you start doing a couple shadow jumpings and you're feeling comfortable, we're gonna add in our jump rope, okay? We are gonna start actually jumping over the rope, okay? So you're gonna start with the rope behind you and you're going to pick up that same pattern that you were just doing with shadow jumping, okay? If you were going slow, we're gonna start off slow. If you're going faster, you're gonna start off going faster, okay? Just get into your natural rhythm and try not to overthink it as you're jumping rope, okay? Sometimes it helps to count out loud, sometimes it helps to listen to good music, Sometimes it helps to have nobody around, okay? You do you, just start getting into your natural rhythm. We're gonna do a basic bounce. You're gonna jump over the rope one time as it swings under, okay? So this is basic bounce. Do not do double bounce. Double bounce when we're jumping two times and then over the rope, okay? That is a bad habit to get into. And if you have that issue, I'm gonna post a link down here at the bottom of this video that's gonna help you break the double bounce habit, okay? So we are just doing basic bounce right here, okay? Jumping over the rope right here, okay? We're connecting our hand-eye foot coordination, doing basic bounce just like this. Now, to make it a little more challenging, we are gonna jump backwards, okay? This is probably one of the most underrated things in jumping rope is jumping rope backwards, okay? Not only does it work a couple different muscles in our backs and our forearms, but it also just helps, again, challenge our brain and align that hand-body-eye coordination, okay? So you're gonna start with the rope in front of you and you're gonna go backwards, okay? We're gonna swing the rope backwards and jump over it one time, okay? If you haven't done this, I'm gonna have you go really slow, okay? So start with the rope behind you, swing it back, jump, just like that, okay? Sometimes it takes people a couple minutes to get down the backwards jumping rope. If you already have it down, then just start jumping rope backwards, okay? Again, we're gonna jump one time over the rope backwards, okay? Just get into this motion just like this, okay? Then we're gonna do a couple drills. We're gonna stop, oops, we're gonna, and tripping's part of the process, you guys, if you trip, just keep going, all right? You aren't jumping rope if you ain't tripping, all right? It's all good. We all trip at some point. Um, okay, we're gonna practice going forwards five jumps, stopping, and then going backwards five jumps, okay? We're gonna try to do that as fluid as possible, all right? So here we go, let's go forwards. One, two, three, four, five. Stop the rope, let it hit your toes. Backwards, one, two, three, four, five. Just like that, I keep hitting a, a rock over here. Anyway, this is gonna be one of the drills, okay? You're gonna jump forwards, stop, backwards. Stop, forwards, 
stop backwards, all right? Keep doing that, all right? Next step in progressing in our coordination skills is going to be alternating foot, okay? That is jumping right, left, right, left. Kind of like you're jogging, but we're not gonna be lifting our legs up or we aren't gonna be lifting our knees up as high, okay? A lot of times what I'm teaching beginners is they start doing this high knee thing because they're scared about tripping over the rope, but we wanna keep it low, okay? We wanna keep our skips super low, barely bending our knees, right, left, right, left. Again, I'm going no more than one to two inches off the ground, okay? So it might help for you guys to set down your rope and do some shadow jumping really quick. I'm gonna break this down really slowly, especially if you really are not coordinated at all. I'm gonna break it down right here, okay? So we're gonna start on our right foot. We're gonna, we're gonna jump on our right foot, okay? And bring your left foot off. Again, we're gonna be on the balls of our feet when we're jumping rope. Then you're gonna switch to your left foot, okay? And then bring up your right leg. So you're gonna go right, left, right, left. If this is hard for you, you're gonna keep practicing this until it feels, until you can do it basically with your eyes closed, okay? Once you got this down with your eyes closed, you're ready to add in your jump rope, okay? So right, left, right, left right left right left then you're gonna speed it up okay and you're gonna check your form you're gonna make sure you're not going like this okay or you're not going like this all right we want to keep it low to the ground just tiny little bends in our knees bouncing our weight on our right on our left right left right left okay then you're gonna add in your jump rope with the little wrist circles right here it's gonna go right left right left right left and envisioning you jumping over the rope each time you step okay so the right left right left right left right left right left okay keep that going all right until you feel comfortable then you're gonna add in your jump rope so you're gonna pick up your jump rope we're gonna start with the rope behind us and if it's easier for you you can start off on basic bounce just to get this rhythm down like this all right and then you can start going right left right left so right left right left right left right left all right just like that Make sure you aren't lifting up your knees, okay? If you are, it's not the end of the world. Eventually, you're gonna clean it up. But again, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. All right, and that's alternating foot, okay? The more you do that, the more neural pathways gonna open up in your brain. It's gonna start signaling your hand-eye coordination, okay? It's all gonna come align, I promise, all right? Just keep doing those drills over and over again. Now, if you want, big challenge right here, okay? If that, if you got all that step down, one of the best moves to do is like a lateral jump, okay? So kind of like a boxer shuffle, all right? So I'm gonna teach you guys this. It's a little more advanced, but if you're ready to really up your coordination, this is where it's at, okay? So it's kind of like alternating foot. We're gonna jump on our right foot, and we're gonna tap with our left. Then we're gonna jump on our left foot and tap with our right, okay? So jump right, tap left, jump left, tap right. This movement right here, okay? You can, add, you can take the hop out of it and just kind of get this down. All right, so step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap. Then you're gonna start jumping and imagine that you have your jump rope, okay? So you're gonna step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, okay? Then you're gonna speed it up and eventually you're gonna go look just like this, like how the boxers skip, okay? Right, left, right, left, all right? Just like that. Then you're gonna add in your jump rope. So again, if you wanna start off with a basic bounce or an alternating foot so you got down your natural rhythm, Okay, I'm gonna do alternating foot, right, left, right, left. Then when you're ready, you're gonna start going, you're gonna go to the right tap, left tap. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. I'll do it in slow motion. All right guys, that's basically all there is to it. Those are some really great drills that you guys can start off to really help connect that mind-body-foot connection um, in anything that you do, whether you're doing sports or just trying to get better at fitness. Um, Jumping rope is where it's at to really connect all of that together. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure you subscribe to my video. Give me some love down there in the comments. And I hope to see you skipping rope. Have a great day, guys. Peace.